Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Vanilla Gorilla which is from a brewery very local to me, only a few miles away. Um, Blue Monkey Brewery, it's there, Vanilla Stout. So, can't remember if I've had it before. Don't think so. I think I've only bought one of these when I went to the shop a few weeks ago. We take our award-winning Gorilla Stout and add a hint of vanilla for a beautifully smooth malty stout. And I was going to have a night off the beer, but I thought sod it. Come on, yeah, that's our beer. Hey, sometimes it just has to be done. Right. I've got a decent. No, I've got a clean, a large, clean glass. I have to use this one. So. Beautiful day in September, you know, we're coming up to the middle of September um, Well, just going past the middle of September actually and um, Yeah Beautiful um, beautiful day today can't fault this weather long may it continue because when you work outside It's not you know, you, you know, you don't look forward to the winter months I mean you don't look forward to the really hot summer days either, but you know, you don't look forward to the when, when it's chucking it down or windy wet you know um, they're not the greatest of days so pretty much black in colour with a, a beige head massively malty uh, aroma to it and definitely a hint of stout, a uh, hint of stout, hint of vanilla on that aroma. It's 4.9%. Uh, Blue Monkey do make some good beers, if I'm being honest. And especially, if you ever go to the Robin Hood Beer Festival in Nottingham, um, their stand is always very well populated with people. More so when it was at the castle. Down at the Motor Point Arena, the Ice Stadium, it wasn't as busy there as, as, as I'd known it at the castle. At the castle it was buzzing, you know. Looking forward to this year's uh, beer festival. Nice day down there. I'm contemplating working half a day, going home, getting changed, and going into town. Obviously, a good dinner, a good hearty dinner before I go out. So I don't go into town and I'm absolutely bladdered before I get anywhere. Or I take the old day off and just um, you know have a chill out day, then go into town. And get a lift in off the wife or, or the sun. So lovely malty taste to it. There's a nice thickness to it, nice smoothness. Uh, reminds me a bit like Guinness, the smoothness, you know, in a thick, creamy, creaminess to it. And it looks like a Guinness. If you look there, it just looks like Guinness, doesn't it? Although Guinness. A lot more um, carbonation in Guinness, you know, till it settles a bit. So yeah, another glorious day. It's funny, I've been in this new job now. I think it's about a fifth or sixth week I've been there now. And I'm still, you know, I'm still not 100% sure I've made the right decision, sadly, you know. And uh, I suppose you have good and bad days. Hopefully tomorrow, the manager's coming down tomorrow, the manager in charge of the old area, uh, different sites, and uh, I'm gonna alleviate some issues that I've got to him and see if, uh, you know, um, it solves the is any little, these little issues that I've got. Because, uh, person I, I work with, you know, um, obviously I'm used to um, personalities, but sometimes personalities, you know, and it, you know, if they're a bit in your face, you, you know, sometimes you need to back off before they upset you and then you give them, you know, what for, which I'm, I'm close to that as it is. And then they go off crying and, oh, I don't want him working on here, you know, and uh, I can do without all that. But yeah, 
tried quite a lot of their brews over the years. All very uh, monkey themed, you know, the you know, little blue monkey on there. Um, a lot of their beers are, are, you know, called after monkeys like chimpanzee and, you know, all this thing. And obviously it's done them a world of good because it's given them a um, blue monkey that is. A way of getting their product out there and um, you know and the ability to get the products out there and uh, you know with a name behind it that uh, can be easily recognizable because I suppose that's the problem with all, all beer companies you know sometimes you can have a good beer but then that, oh what was the name of that company and with this, with the blue monkey on the front, it is, you know, quite something that's easy to um, see. So, the vanilla comes through lovely. Um, I'd like a cherry version of this, cherry stout version of this, with very nice. Or even a plum, plum port, a plum stout. I think this the strength the 4.9 for me it shows up stronger uh, than that. Um, I would say you know it tastes like a five and a half to six percent beer. Surprising what have some beers taste better, you know. And I'm running behind on beer reviews. I uploading. I, I've been doing these two behind me. These. Um, homebrews and uh, I'm at the stage where I can't upload the next some reviews because it clashes with the um, with the home with the homebrew behind me which is a pain but uh, I'll have to get back to uploading one you know, more than one a day but my collection of beers is still staggering you know I haven't bought any for a few weeks now bar the odd one and uh, I've been nibbling away at them, but flipping heck, I've got enough to last me till about March next year already, and that's without you know Christmas beers and whatnot. And I must take a trip. And what I have noticed is Tesco's got a load of new craft beers just recently. They're all a bit pricey though. There's some in the four for six pound category, but the rest of them are all in that bloody three pound a can category. And uh, that's all right, but it's pricey, you know. Six six cans for eighteen quid, you know. That's a crippler, you know. Especially if you can get twelve for eighteen, you know. The others, and some of them are the, obviously the well-known varieties, and some of them are top ten beer varieties in my top ten anyway. You know, like your Fuller's eighteen forty-five, your Crafty Ends, you know. And uh, you think to yourself, yeah, I'd like to try the new biz. But a lot of the new beers are all the same. I, I, I cringe when I look and it's another IPA or another bloody golden ale. I'm thinking, oh God, do I really want to taste that, you know? And uh, it gets to the stage where you're looking for something different, you know? And then what I do find is a lot of the varieties on the shelves are coming and going at such a rate now that the general population will never see these varieties. So, you know, you find yourself reviewing something that would disappear within months and never to be seen again. And uh, if you're reviewing that, you're wasting a review in some way. I mean, you're not, but you are in some ways because you're doing that review. People aren't going to search for that review or search for that bear. Or even if they do find your review, uh, they might love your review. They might think this is a, a absolute awesome beer then they'll go to look for it and can't find it anyway it's not for sale anymore because it's already been and gone which is a sad thing so so some aspects of the craft beer industry are slightly concerning that beers are coming and going at too quick i mean it's good to have new beers on the shelves but not so that we lose beers as well So, black on pour, beige head still retaining the head right towards the bottom of the glass. Uh, vanilla and malts throughout with chocolate, there's definitely chocolate in there as well. 
uh, both in taste and in flavour. Very good stout, you know. Um, to me, very similar to uh, Guinness, but with more flavour than Guinness. Guinness is okay, but this is more flavour. It's like an upgraded version of Guinness, you know. And for me, it makes it a, a good beer. Very drinkable. I mean, to the temperature in here today is uh, just 21 degrees. And uh, I won't say this beer is 21 degrees, but it's at room temperature anyway. And uh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Vanilla Gorilla. Whether they still make it, that's another thing. You can go on the Blue Monkey website. I'm sure you can order them online these days. I'm sure you can. Uh, they have got a shop in, in uh, near Ikea, in Giltbrook, Nottinghamshire, uh, on the edges of Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire border. But yeah, a quality beer. So for me, that was a lovely stout. You know, the vanilla was there. It was there in good quantity, you know. Um, I was slightly disappointed yesterday. I did review uh, another Nottinghamshire beer yesterday. Uh, Magpie's Cherry Raven. And ch a cherry stout. But the cherry there just wasn't for me prominent enough. If you're going to call anything a cherry stout. Or any flavour stout. You know, it needs to be there and at the forefront. And if it's not. I mean, sometimes the flavours are just too subtle. And... Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm speaking from what I like. Uh, but today, this vanilla gorilla, uh, vanilla stout, oh yeah, the vanilla was there. The stout itself was a quality stout. Um, like I've said, it reminds me of an up upgraded Guinness. Uh, very drinkable, very re-drinkable as well. I could spend the night drinking that. And it tastes, for me, it's 4.9%, but it tastes like a 6%er, you know. Uh, that one bottle that I've just had, has, has, you know, I can feel it. And uh shouldn't be drinking anything else for a few hours. I've got some cleaning to do. My son's bedroom's like a, a, a hole, shall we say. So I'll go in and uh, hoover, sort it out, and declutter. Kids, eh? Been at work all day and you come home and do cleaning. It's fun life, isn't it? Been that while we have kids. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.